Good evening everybody, my name is Wes Davies and welcome back to my channel. I'm actually here again in Yenshui, this time under very different circumstances. The Yenshui Beehive Firework Festival is one of the largest and most important folk festivals in Taiwan. But before we get to that, I spent a little more time exploring the city. So one of the things that actually caught my eye is the Donghua Cha Shop. I actually love winter melon tea. It's one of my favorite teas in Taiwan. And I think it's really cool that they have a place right over there that shows you how to make it. One of the owners helped to introduce her shop to me in English. Is this original? Yeah, original. Oh. Yeah, chocolate. chocolate. Yeah, yeah chocolate. chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. So you can see behind me, these are the donggua, the winter melons. So here's what they look like when they cut them open. Cool. So they're like watermelon, but white instead of pink and almost flavorless. This shop not only had an English menu, but the owner and some of the patrons helped explain everything that I was curious about. So he was saying this represents the uh, the spirit of the hardworking Taiwanese, and I can see why it's incredibly hot standing out here in the sun. It's really nice of them to let me help them out here. Mmm, that is super good. It's actually quite refreshing. It's not as sweet as you might think. Kind of tastes like a light maple syrup drink or brown sugar drink. I'm really happy I came here and saw this because I love this drink and I've always been curious how they turn those giant melons into something that looks like this. Bye bye. Next, I headed to the Yen Shui Wu Temple, which is dedicated to Guan Yu, the Taoist god of war and martial arts. On the Tainan City Tourism website, there's an audio tour, which is a perfect way to learn more about this nearly 400 year old temple. If you have time, you can even attend a special workshop which teaches you the traditional way of making the beehive fireworks stacks using bamboo. I'll put the website below if you want to sign up for next year. With the coming of night, it was time for the festival to begin. After getting a taste for the action, I grabbed my GoPro and headed toward the front. I realize now why this festival consistently ranks in the top five most dangerous festivals in the world. This is not for the faint of heart or easily startled. It's extremely important to wear proper protection gear because it's not uncommon to get repeatedly hit with fireworks at close range. It was a disorienting experience, and at some point, the faceless strangers, the loud noises and explosions, and especially the sulfuric smoke became too much, so I retreated back to safety. Remember to always stay within your comfort zone. At this point, my biggest question was, why? In 1885, Yen Shui was in the midst of a devastating cholera outbreak people turned to Guan Yu for help and carried his statue around the city while fireworks were set off all around him. After three days, the outbreak was brought under control and no more lives were lost. You saw the first video I took last week and this town was beautiful, it was quiet, it was peaceful, you know, there were families everywhere and now it feels like I'm in a war zone. There are explosions going off all around me. I've just found this little oasis here, but you can just see the night sky lighting up. It is an incredibly unique place to be right now. Wow. It seems that almost at random, certain streets will just start erupting in explosions and fireworks and smoke. So I'm going to put my helmet on and get back into the heart of this. It should be good. I'm gonna have to 
check my camera out after that one. I think it got hit. Yeah, so I was right here uh, a week and a half ago filming that lantern festival. And as I said before, it was so quiet and so peaceful that night. And now there's bombs going off all around me. This is wild. Always remember to pay attention to your safety. During the festival, there are first aid stations set up throughout the town, and you can also turn to any police station for help. I really wanted to get some shots from the side uh, so I could see the firecrackers shooting out on either side and then suddenly it just got super smoky and they started like ricocheting backward to where we were all standing. Oh my God. I don't think we're safe here. Oh man. This is crazy tonight guys. Oh. If you ever want to know what it feels like to be in a war, you gotta come to Yen Shui. Just trying to find a place that's safe. Oh my gosh, that was, that was crazy. So definitely one of the scariest festivals I've ever attended. The whole community gets into it, this is amazing. Man, I'm gonna go try to find Mike. Apparently he just got here. Just caught up with Mike, and uh, we're gonna hit the streets. We just have to get him his gear. It really feels like Mad Max out here. This is wild. All right, Mike just got here, and uh, I'm gonna so uh, we're just grabbing a quick drink at 7-Eleven. It is so hot in all this protection gear. Uh, and then we're gonna head back to what and then we're gonna head back to what I believe is sort of uh, one of the city centers And check out what's going on over there Awesome. Yeah, man, super awesome. Wow. This is certainly one of the most visually stimulating events you will ever witness. And it was incredible to see the entire community take part in this spectacle. Actually, I want to kind of go over there. Sure. Right in front of it. This guy's in a little pain, huh? Like, that actually really hurts <laughs> to get hit by that. Where'd you get hit, buddy? Everywhere. <laughs> my hand was in my pocket, this big jacket, and it still got hit. My hand got hit. Pretty, pretty amazing. Very special for so many people. Yeah, really.
this with all my Taiwanese family. Amazing. Because I felt fine the whole time, but when I put, went to put my bag on, my hand burned. Oh. After. So I might have like a small little mark or something. So when you went to put your backpack on, your back was literally on fire. I think so. Next year. Yeah, let's do it. Next year. It's really nice to meet you. Amazing to meet you. <laughs> that was crazy. Man. English-friendly restaurant. You want to rock some nudes, Mike? Could do. Could do. Are they still open for bees, Rex? You mean kaya, ma? No, 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 sold out. Sold out. You know what, though? I bet you a dragon's coin that... That within 24 hours, it'll be spotless? I bet you if we walk down this thing in the morning, everything will be like an organized crime. Yeah. Whether you're an adrenaline junkie, a curious traveler, or just want to pay your respects to the gods, this is the festival for you. It's obvious how much hard work goes into putting this on, and I feel very lucky I got to come here and have this amazing experience. If you'd like to rent your protection gear, there's plenty of gear rental shops providing service in English. The shop owners will teach you the proper way to wear the equipment to protect yourself. I'll give the link down below. Until next year.